And a very good evening, everybody. Yesterday, Williston State College named the new women's volleyball head coach. And tonight, the native of Kansas tells us why she wanted to take over the program, guide her own team after serving as an assistant last year. Well, volleyball is something that I love. I've been around the sport most of my life. And um, when Coach Hink decided that she was going to you know, go on to live her dream coaching beach. I just decided, hey, this is my opportunity to really take advantage and take care of these girls and see what we can do this season. And I think it's going to be a great season. When you get an opportunity to have a full recruiting year in there, what do you think you're going to look for? Um, well, we're definitely going to be looking for um, girls who are just all around good players that can play six rotations. Um, Next year, we're for sure going to need some setters on our team, um, but we really want girls that are going to do great in the classroom, um, really put their student athlete, student part first, because um, that's what's most important. And you do bring back some young ladies who played last year. Yes, yep, we've got six returning sophomores on our team. Um, Michelle Hanley is one of our Liberos, DS is, she's amazing. JC Turcott, she's actually a local from Alexander, uh, Trenton area. Um, she's just a wonderful kid, and we're really excited to have her back on the team as well, as well as all the other girls, but yes. Always a tough league. Uh, science gets a lot of good athletes from Minnesota, Lake Region, Bismarck State recruits Bismarck. It'll be another tough year. Yes, yep. Those girls definitely, or those teams, they have really great big cities to recruit from and so it's a little bit harder to bring kids to Williston but over the last several years Coach Hink has done a great job of reaching out you know Texas, Florida, Arizona, lots of different places across the country to get girls to come here and hopefully we can keep doing that in the years to come. Yeah, yep. Excited about uh, running your own program. Yes, yep. Um, Coach Hink and I coach a little bit, uh, we coach great together, we coach a little bit differently. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see. I'm really nervous, actually, to see what, what's going to happen this year. Um, but, yeah, just doing my own approach and seeing where I can get these girls is number one on my priority list. I've been working hard, thinking about, you know, practice plans, workout schedules, and stuff like that. All right, go get them. She was an All-American on the JUCO level at Highland Community College in Kansas and moved on to Southwest Baptist University in Missouri. So a very good background as a former player. First practice Sunday, their first match, home August 23rd against Bismarck State. We wish her the best. And yes, that was her little son talking to us in the background. So there you go. Minnesota Twins looking to make it two in a row over the Tigers tonight with Sonny Gray on the hill. Let's go to Motown for highlights and see what the heck went on. Bottom of the fourth, one zip Tigers. Mr. Baez has not done a whole lot after that big contract, but he does single in. Two zip Tigers. We're still in the fourth. Zach McKendry, another single off Gray. Kerry Carpenter scores. It's going to make it three zip Tigers. Then in the seventh, uh, Gray is gone. It is Jake Rogers with a solo shot off Josh Winder, four zip. Final was uh, six to nothing. So series is all tied now at one to one. And just because the Tigers are struggling, they're still a major league team and they want to play the Twins tough. So you got to remember that. Hopefully the Twins can come back. Uh, we want to tell you this, and that is that the Williston Basin uh, Racing Association is going to have another night. And uh, hopefully they'll be able to get it in with no rain. And that's going to be on Friday night. And uh, we hope they can get the action in and have some good action. Uh, Vikes open their preseason schedule on Thursday on the road at Seattle. Kickoff time 9 central against Pete Carroll's crew who, like the Vikes, are trying to get back to that Super Bowl. The journey for both clubs begins in the Pacific Northwest on Thursday. And with that, we take a timeout on First News at 10.